guys, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on um, on a super easy recipe that I just kind of figured it out on my own. Um, it's sweet potatoes, um, and I just use some maple syrup and a little bit of cinnamon and butter and salt to make some creamy mash. So I got some sweet potatoes here. I peeled them, and I'm gonna cut them into some chunks um, and just toss it inside the Instant Pot for eight minutes total with one cup of water. Uh, once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and quick release. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put all of the mashed potatoes, I mean, the sweet potatoes into a bowl. You're gonna mash it up with uh, two tablespoons of maple syrup, two tablespoons of butter, and a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a half teaspoon of salt. Now, I like to add the salt to balance all the sweetness, but it's totally up to you. And you can also always play with this recipe um, to your liking. So, pretty easy. Um, it's done in eight minutes in the Instant Pot with just one cup of water. You don't have to waste, you know, bar time barbecuing them or anything like that. So, I'll show you the end result. I'm just gonna cook these up with one cup of water and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, we are back to the sweet potato. Sorry, I'm doing two recipes at different time. Uh, at the same time. I'm back to the sweet potato. The eight minutes popped up. I went ahead and I did a quick release and pretty easily your sweet potatoes are so easy to mash you don't sometimes most of the time you don't need a masher unless they're like a big chunk so i'm just going to scoop these out of here very carefully without them breaking apart inside of my pot and i'm putting it into the bowl already that has the mixture of the cinnamon the butter uh the maple syrup and a little bit of salt now if you're wondering how much i used i used two tablespoons of maple syrup two tablespoons of butter, a pinch of salt, and about half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm basically gonna just go ahead and mash that into the bowl with all the ingredients. Now, the more butter you use, the more creamier it is, of course. But as you're gonna see now immediately how quickly this starts to cream up with the butter and the maple syrup. You can always taste it and see what um, it needs. If you wanna add pepper, you can add pepper. If you wanna add salt, you can add salt. But literally, uh, you know, this is one of these side dishes, or if you don't like rice or you don't wanna eat rice, this is obviously one of those yummy veggies that doesn't taste like a veggie if you add the awesomeness of brown sugar or maple syrup. By the way, you can use brown sugar um, instead of the brown, uh, instead of the maple syrup, maple syrup. I just use maple syrup because it's a little bit faster as far as having to mix. But as you can see, we got creamy, creamy mash. It's still not completely um, mashed away, but you guys get the hint, right? So this feeds about two to three people. I do, just go pee pee. Five minutes, give me a second. Um, I do save a little bit for Ryan and I, I already give Ryan all kinds of food that we eat. So this is also one of those things that I, I put uh, on the side and I do shredded chicken, a little bit of sweet potato. And then what I do with the greens for him, uh, I do baby carrots and I just basically cook them really soft so they just kind of break apart in his mouth. And that's usually sometimes his dinner with pollito or canita or whatever. Um, so this is one of those easy, easy peasy recipe side dishes that you guys can do in the Instant Pot. And of course, tonight I'm going to eat this with my Brussels sprouts and carrots and a slice of a four ounce chicken breast that I'm also doing in the air fryer. I mean, I could take it in the Instant Pot, it would probably be faster, but um, two point meal because all I'm counting is the maple syrup and the butter. So.